boys. What up, guys? This is Chivo, guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Shinrai Broken Beyond Despair. This game was published by Radalaka Games, and it was developed by Gosatsu Visual Novels. This game is a super easy completion or platinum trophy. It's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes, as long as you're following a guide. And in terms of the price, it isn't necessarily that cheap. This is one of the more expensive visual novels novels coming in at $14.99 so you might want to wait for a sale on this one. Aside from that I want to give a shout out to the written guide I used to make this video guide. It was in the Steam forums for this game and it was written by Lilat. I'll make sure to include a link for this written guide down in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. Other than that I'm going to guide you guys through the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy in just about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off by going to the options menu. We're gonna adjust a few things. Starting off with the skip text, we're gonna change that to skip all messages. For transitions, we're going to switch that to none. And skip after choices, we're going to switch it to keep skipping. Other than that, you wanna max out the text and auto speed. After that, we can go ahead and back out and we're gonna go ahead and start up our game. Once you start up the game, you can press RB to start skipping through the dialogue, and that will basically start fast forwarding through the game. If at any point it stops fast forwarding, you can press RB to start fast forwarding once again. Now, once you get to your first dialogue choice, we're going to choose You Worry Too Much, You Look Perfect, the top option. For the next one, we're going to choose the middle option, 50 Guess. And next, we're going to choose the bottom option. No, that won't be necessary. After that, we're going to click on the little doll in the bottom right. And then you want to click on the masks hanging on the wall. And then you want to click on the sign on the far right of the room, the one with the Japanese writing on it. Next, we're going to switch locations by clicking on the magnifying glass on the upper center screen. And then next, we're going to click on the one-eyed umbrella on the very left of the center table. And then we want to click on the zombie cat on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. At this point we should unlock our first achievement or trophy called Tenacious Trivia Nut for unlocking all optional trivia entries. Next we're going to click on the speech bubble on the upper center screen. And from here we're going to talk to Nobara. Then we're going to talk to Mika and Runa. And then we're going to talk to Mika. Then choose Nevermind. Then talk to Cayman and Momoko. Talk to Momoko again. Talk to Cayman. Then choose Actually, I'm here because of you. Then choose Maybe, I'll tell you some other time. And then talk to no one right now. After that, you want to click on the check mark to finish the investigation. Next, we're going to choose Yes, I Am. Let's just wait for Rai now. And this is going to unlock our achievement or trophy for finishing Chapter 1. Alright, so sometimes in this game, we're going to have to choose a character and then accuse them of something specific. In this instance, we're going to choose Rai, and then we're going to accuse him. Next, you want to go to the Clues and Evidence tab, click the Corridor Candles, and then click Show. Back to the clues and evidence, we're going to go to locked rooms and press show. After that, we're going to switch to the maps tab, click the resort basement, press show. We're going to do that one more time, the maps tab, resort basement, and press show again. Alright, so from here we're going to click on the right window. Then you want to click on the power box next to the window. Then you want to switch by clicking on the magnifying glass. Once you're in the next location, we're going to click on the shelf on the right hand side. Switch the location back and interact with the broom. Switch the location back and interact with the shelf again. Switch the location and interact with the power box one more time. At this point, we should unlock the achievement called I Think We're Back in Business for finishing Chapter 2. Next, you want to press the option that says at the reception. And then choose she openly carried it with her the whole time.
and then it was definitely suicide. Now we need to go and exhaust all of the different dialogue options with each of the characters. So we're going to start off with Taiko. So ask about Kotoba and then ask about Kotoba and Momoko. After that you want to talk to Runa. And then we're going to choose what happened during the blackout. Ask about Omoko and Hiro's relationship. And the third option won't be available quite yet. So press never mind the bottom option. Talk to Rai. Choose the top option. Then the second option will be available and then choose the third option. Then talk to Mika and then talk to Nobara. And now you can go back and talk to Runa and the third dialogue option will be available. And now we have completed all of the dialogue with each of the characters. And the questioning and then press yes. We're going to unlock the unsettling suspicions achievement for finishing chapter 3. Next, we want to select Hero and accuse him. After you accuse him, go to the Clues and Evidence tab. We want to go to the second page, so go down to the arrow, go into the right hand side, and then select the questioning results. After that, press Show. Go back to the Clues and Evidence tab. This time, select the Resort Keys on the first page and press Show. After that, choose the dialogue option that says tried stopping the others. And then we're going to choose the dialogue option that says it's definitely open now. And then let's head into the employee quarters. We're going to unlock our next achievement or trophy called just in time for saving Kotoba. And from here we want to interact with the intercom twice. So interact with it and interact with it once more. Next we want to interact with the dresser and then switch the location using the magnifying glass. Interact with the flat glass table. Interact with the closet two times. So interact with it once and then once more. Next we need to interact with both dead bodies, Momoko as well as Hiro. Now, before you end the investigation, it's very important that you save your game right here because you cannot save it during any type of dialogue, only in scenes where it's basically the point to click areas. So we're going to save our game right here and go back. And once you save your game, we can go ahead and end the investigation by pressing the check mark on the upper center screen. Continue to fast forward and we're going to unlock our next achievement called Toward the Climax for finishing Chapter 4. After that, we're going to choose the dialogue option that says, no, she didn't. And then we're going to choose Momoko and accuse her. Next, we're going to choose, no, she didn't kill anybody. Press Momoko and accuse her once again. Next, we're going to choose Momoko died first. And then choose, no, that's impossible. Next, choose she actually had multiple accomplices. And then choose she had to have had three. After that, choose Kotoba and accuse him. Next, choose Hero and accuse him. Choose I have a witness. Choose Mika and accuse her. Go to the Clues and Evidence tab. Go to the second page using the arrow. Click Glass Table and press Show. We need to do this once again. So Clues and Evidence, second page, Glass Table, show it once again. Next we're going to choose Kotoba and accuse them. And then choose Something Was Stuck in the Lock. Next go to Clues and Evidence, go to the second page. Press Hero's Body and Show. Go to Clues and Evidence. Press Red Rope off the first page and press Show. Go to Clues and Evidence on the first page. Press Halloween Sign and press Show. And next we need to click on Room 209. After you click on Room 209, you want to select Inwards. That's the top option. After that, go to Clues and Evidence. Go to the second page using the arrow, and then we want to click Drawer. Press Show. Go to Clues and Evidence. Go back to the second page, and this time we're going to choose Momoko's body. 
and then press show. Go back to clues and evidence, go back to the second page, click the witch costume, and then press show. Next, we wanna present the cape. Go to clues and evidence, go back to the second page, press Momoko's body, and show. This should unlock your next achievement or trophy called Prolific Profiler for unlocking all optional X pages. Next, you wanna select she wanted to create a distraction. From the clues and evidence page, go to the second page, select intercom and press show. You wanna unlock two achievements or trophies, one called Notorious Note Taker for completing the notebook, as well as an achievement or trophy for finishing chapter five. Next, we're going to choose Let's Be Friends then, and we're going to unlock another two achievements or trophies, one for finishing the epilogue and the other for clearing the game with 100% detective rank. That's going to kick us back to the main menu. And next, we're going to start up a new game. We're going to press You Worry Too Much, You Look Perfect. We're going to select 100 Guess. going to choose no that won't be necessary then you want to end the investigation by clicking on the check mark select yes I am let's just wait for Rye now select Raiko and accuse them select Rye and accuse them Go to clues and evidence, select locked rooms, press show, then press back. From the clues and evidence, press the corridor candles, press show. Go back to clues and evidence and press corridor candles again, press show again. This time you're going to have to press back, locked rooms, press show. Then you want to go to the maps tab, select resort second floor, show then press back, go to maps, resort basement, show, maps, resort second floor, show, you're gonna have to press back, from the maps tab press resort basement and show. Click on the right window, then click on the power box next to the window. Switch the location by clicking on the magnifying glass. Click on the shelf on the right hand side. Switch the location back and interact with the broom. Switch the location back and interact with the shelf again. Switch the location back and interact with the power box one more time. Select the dining hall. Select she hid the rope under her kimono. Select it was definitely suicide. And just like last time, we need to talk to everyone and exhaust all of the dialogue options until you can end the questioning. So make sure you go through all of them just like last time. Now we're going to select Raiko and accuse them, then select Hero and accuse them. Go to Clues and Evidence, select Locked Rooms, Show, you're going to have to press Back. From the Clues and Evidence, you want to go to the second page using the arrow and select Questioning Results and Show. From the Clues and Evidence, you want to select Corridor Candles show you're gonna have to press back 
from clues and evidence, you want to press locked rooms and show. Select headed straight to the reception. Select maybe Kotoba can open it for us. And then let's dash down the hallway. Next, we want to interact with the intercom twice. So interact with it and then interact with it once more. And then interact with the drawer. And then switch the location. Interact with the flat glass table. Interact with the closet twice. So interact with it and then interact with it once more. Then you want to interact with both dead bodies, both Momoko as well as Hiro and then end the investigation. Next, you want to select No, She Didn't, and then select Raiko, and accuse them. Then select Momoko, and accuse them. Select No, She Didn't Kill Anyone. Then select Cayman, and accuse them. And then select Momoko, and accuse them. Select Momoko hanged herself, then select I have to admit that's a possibility. And then select no, it's perfectly possible to pull off alone. And then I'm pretty sure she had two. Select Raiko, accuse them. Select Kotoba, accuse them. Select Raiko again, accuse them. And then select hero and accuse them. Select I have evidence. From the clues and evidence, you want to select the locked rooms. Show. And then you're going to have to back out. Press the second page. Press glass table and show. From clues and evidence, select locked rooms. Show. You're going to have to press back. From the clues and evidence, press the second page. Press glass table and show. Next, you need to press Raiko and accuse them. Press Kotoba and accuse them. Select Kotoba actually had a key. Then select clues and evidence, locked rooms. Show. You're going to have to press back. From clues and evidence, press second page. Hero's body and show. From here, we're going to have to press locked rooms, show, and then press back. Select the red rope off the first page, press show, and then you want to press locked rooms, show. You're going to have to press back. Select the Halloween sign, press show. And this time we want to click on room 201 and select outwards. Next, you're going to go to clues and evidence, press locked rooms and show. You're going to have to press back. From clues and evidence, go to the second page and select drawer and show. Then you want to go to the first page of clues and evidence, select locked rooms and show. You're going to have to press back. Then go to the second page of the clues and evidence and select Momoko's body and show. Back to the clues and evidence, press locked rooms, show, and you're going to have to press back. From clues and evidence, press the second page, select the witch costume, show, and then present the hat. Clues and evidence, locked rooms, show, and then press back. From clues and evidence, go to the second page and press Momoko's body again and show. And then press she wanted to burn down the entire resort. From clues and evidence, press the locked rooms, show, and then you're going to have to press back. Clues and evidence, go to the second page and select intercom and show.
and then press let's be friends then. This is going to unlock the achievement or trophy for clearing the game with the 0% detective rank. It's called unlimited guessworks. Alright, so next we're going to go for the bad ending. So what we want to do is load up that first game save that we made. Once you get right here, you want to click the check mark on the upper center screen to go ahead and continue to the next area. Press yes to end the investigation. Press RB to continue fast forwarding. And this time we're going to choose maybe so, but dot dot dot. And that's going to end up unlocking the so close yet so far achievement or trophy for reaching the bad ending. Sweet, so we're going to head back over to the main menu and we're going to go over to the extras tab. First thing you want to do is click scenes and diaries. From the extras tab, we want to play extra scene A. So select extra scene A, it's in the upper right hand corner. Simply press RB to fast forward through the whole thing and you're going to end up unlocking the secret maneuvers achievement or trophy. And we have one more just like this, so go ahead and select Cayman's Diary B. All you need to do is fast forward through the whole thing, so press RB. It's going to finish it up, and it's going to unlock our final achievement or trophy called Unmasked worth our final 90 gamer score. Let's just double check. Yep, we got the full 1000G out of the full 1000G. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.